Okay, we're going into game one. All right. On the PS2. You know, I always hate when the Falcons go for the one-two grab mix-up because it's not real, right? Yeah. It's just something that they like to do because Falcons have character. Oh, oh my god! god. <laughs> <laughs> we gave this character rights. Ooh. Okay, that was good stuff by Sour No. When, okay, that was, that was actually a really good point by Sour No. That's the like, getting creative by punishing um, stomp in place instead of a spot dodge. You do teleport in place. All right, nice near one to near. Oh, okay. Oh, oh. okay. Oh, kill him. Yeah. Okay. You miss him, but but um, Sarado took that from tank. That punch is amazing. This is by Sarado. Let's see if um Sarado can mitigate um this. Onslaught by Gatsby, and he's already doing that. Yeah, ooh, nice. You take that stock? So much, there's just a lot of good coverage here. Like, whenever Gatsby's in disadvantage, like, Sarado is just on point. Like, he's covered. He's fair, covered options. Yeah. In that situation, it's really. Yeah. I was about to say, it's really tough to do a standard get up in that situation because, like, there's so many different frames where you could just explode, right? Um, when it comes to Zelda doing whatever carnival stuff that she's doing. Um, it's probably best to do anything else, but, um, and get up in that situation. It's not enough near, though. It's a kill. Um, yeah, that near, too. At this point, you just gotta get as much extra trade as you can, but every time you land a hit, it's just trippy. So at this yeah. point, you just gotta have to be this. You know, I was, I was actually liking how um, Sarado kind of um, uh, kind of gained ground in that situation. Just use the knight and like inch forward, didn't like do anything ridiculous. Slowly took backstage and made the kill. Oh wow! Okay, Ooh. yeah, and utilizing that low hedge hang by um, Falcon. Yeah, definitely comes with an handy. Oh, he's back for it. Okay. Um, still close game. Sarado can still definitely pull this back, even though Gatsby does have it on him. Sarado has shown a capability of controlling the stage very well. So. Wow. Okay. Yeah, Gatsby going for that runoff to me. Um, it's, and I, and I, I'm, I'm not gonna lie, I really do like Sourdough's patience right now. I'm not doing anything super crazy. Yeah, sometimes playing the safe way is a good way. <laughs> yeah, especially in a situation like this. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, I was gonna say, that again? Hmm. You know what's crazy? Gatsby definitely just kept pressing the A button. <laughs> it's it's what I like to call a mashy good button. I think every character has a quote unquote like mashy or good button, and the A button just so happens to be one of them for Falcon. Uh huh. Yeah. yeah. I mean, for, for me, it's you, obviously. If you, know, you want to keep covering for Falcon mains, that's fine. But you know, <laughs> try to be nice. No, I'm joking. That that actually was a very good option too, because um, um. Nair 2 does have a lot of, um, doesn't have a lot of cooldown, so immediately mashing jab out of that, because, um, I feel like if Naruto did anything but, like, in my room, whoever up, he had a field, um, he was getting punished, and that's exactly what happened, so that was actually good stuff. And we're going to, uh, we're closing Kalos. I agree with this as a Zelda player. Agree. Yeah, there are a lot of benefits for Zelda on the stage.
Yeah, and, I, and, I, and I'm liking how Gatsby is like moving from uh, platforms on sometimes when it comes to when Zelda summons the knight. Yes. He's trying to stay out of the direct line of path from the knight as much as possible. Ooh. Wow, okay, okay, okay. That, that recovery was slick. I love Gatsby's way of recovering. Just utilizing the wall. Once again. Yeah, that's yeah. such a good option. Because Sour is doing so much stuff at the ledge that um, you really have to take your time with recovering. And he's been waiting out a lot of these um, ledge situations. Oh, zero to seventy-seven percent. I like his jumps. Just double jumping at the appropriate times. Doing the fast ball to the ground and F tilt tech chase, just beautiful movement over the top. Gap to Oh! <laughs> you know, I respect Sourdough for going for that up beat, but my men. Oh, uh, we traded a <laughs> At least, At least you got the kill, I suppose. Yeah. One step closer, right Um. <laughs> but yeah. I will see if what st if that Sourdough can't. Oh my god. Let's see let's see if Sarado can get anything started right now. Um because this seems like you no know, guy's beat has been controlling the tempo of this game this far. Get the side okay. B. Oh! Oh my god! Oh that near two! Okay, that I I you know I actually despise that move. I despise near two. Because sometimes they send it sends you at like the most only two angles to imagine. Okay. That was an amazing burst option from uh, uh Nixie. Nixie's movement is actually terrible. He just matches the C stick in any direction he wants to. But um that was good stuff by um good stuff by Gatsby, man. He, he like you know, I, I like like you were saying, um the way he was jumping at uh Sarado, right? So he was just he was mixing it up a lot. He was doing a lot of like full hop approaches, sometimes doing short hop approaches. Sometimes he was just doing a bunch of empty hops, right, and just dashing through, or like trying to dash around Sarado's options. And I feel like, you know, Sarado didn't have like a consistent game plan to deal with those, right? Deal with those constant short, uh, short hop and full hop mix ups. Yeah, and also Gatsby in general off stage is pretty relentless. Like